by braces. For a sore mouth and throat. Just and an exit. That's far. 1.85 for the national record. Benjamin. Yes. Got the crowd going. The crowd is clapping him on. He's the strongest high jumper thus far. 1.85 for the national record. Benjamin. They will be up and running. That is for the 200 uh, meters. And that is the under 13 girls. They are about to go. And in lane one, we have Juliana Shitangure. Lane two, Chineta Klute, Maria Katangera, Ashwena Shiramba, Vemutira Nyuba, Ebi Marne, and Geve Pipa. What are we going to see here? Still red flags is what we are seeing. I hope we see the white flags very soon. This is the under 13, under 13 girls. Let's wait and see what the under-13s can produce. Is the future bright or is it bleak? Off. And off they go here. As they come down here, we have that is in late two. Janetta Klute from Hartab region leading. But watch out for lane three. Maria, watch out for Maria Katarenka here from the Kavango West. Oh, terrible there. That was the first time indeed as well. 27. Five one it was time. it was however Aishwana Shiramba from the Comas region taking that one there. Look at how it started. Shiramba Look at Shiramba there. Uh, that was bad. Yes. Very unfortunate to see that replay there. Uh, look again there. The Comas region competing. And Geve Siba from the Sambezi region. I'm surprised she did very well there. It is a close finish there. Very close. Not great to see there. All we hope to see is that the athlete will be able to recover. Get back to her best. We will we will go for a short interview. Brian Munango has been busy today and he brings us one again. Okay, wait, let me see. So we're ready. Okay, on this minute, Zach, Zach, seven of a minute. 400 meter uh, hurdles. What was it? 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 What was as for the rest of the full you this war. Yeah, yeah, that, that's all this for you. Yeah, it's gang. Ah, and you're just in your kiss. Okay, to the end. No, actually, what full you 
ti brandi mjesta. Aš jih bil je onr to fejta. Aš bil je onr to fejta. Onr to fejta. In upa si kompetisi smo da. Da vas je vas lakih gesto bil je eši ti onr. Aha. Da ti mana bil je vrhen eis fa. Tu, tu sej no. Ja. Ok, in juf, es jo best nekaj tvoj jo personal. Ja. Vorbereings, uči, uči vorberej om no, a personal best van dat konkret bil je a national championship. Jo, dit sa daj ufrenen. Aha. Jo, vje klank. Aha. Ma, dit sa res me coach. Aha. Sej vjet. Sej vjet baie goed. Sej push vjo. Sej push vjo. Sej push vjo. En ja, sy sê het moeder gemaakt dat ek so goed kan doen. Dat jy so kan doen. Ok, nou, laat sê goed vir ons mense. Hoe balanceer jy schoollewe en atletiek en wat in jou personal best? Hoeveel sekonde was het? My PB was 56, 44. Ek het nou 59, 94 gehaagde. Ok. Nou 55, 55, 94. Ok. So ja, dit is een groot VP. Groot VP? Ja. Trots op dit? Ja, baie. Oké, so, nou sê vir my. Goeie nommer. Definitief een goeie nommer. Voor, as praat, as het klaar gepraat van voorbereidings. Ja. Hou balanceer jy school en in jou sportsleven. Dit is nogal as moeilik. Dit is baie best om die sport. Dit is baie tijd. Dit is baie tijd, ja. Jy kan nie net een uur of in die dag aan sport nie. En dit is nie net een sport. Dan krijg jy nie jou BP so, so my kree. Dit vat klomp tijd. Nee, jy moet maar by die school, wat jy kan. Ja. Dan moet jy maar allemaal sport doen en dan die aand, dat jy maar sterk staan in jou huiswerk. Ok, maar jy mis nou nie, jy mag al die stukje in jou huiswerk as dit doen nie. Ja, ja, ja. Right, hit two, girls under 13. Line two, we have the likes of Bengela from Karas region. Line three, Kauna Chiki from Omaheke region. Line four, Nangobe from Kunene region. Line five, Adeline from Kavango East. Line six, Sophia from Kavango West. Line seven, Bukamuna, Ochozonjupa region. And line eight, Lesson, Commerce Region. Yes, um, just a bit of long jump action there, as you can see a glimpse of what they are doing there. But back to the race, it is the second section of the under 13, 200 meters. As an athlete yourself, I think this is crunch time. This is the time where many people or these are the races that many people want to watch. Yep, especially the sprinting events. These are the ones that makes a person blood boil, the excitement, all that. Well, this is the race that is probably going to make or break someone here, but they're still young. And any setback, you will be able to bounce back. Yep, indeed. Down they go. On your marks. Lesson with a good start in the outside lane. Now Benguela from Karas region attacking already the athlete from Omaheke region, Kainachuke. Now either way, Lesson up in the lead, coming into the last hundred meter. But let's not forget Christy. From Karas region, but Bukamuna from Ochozon Jupa region up in the lead. That is Chipura, Chirupa versus Lesson. That was fast. That was fast. And the lady from Okakarara showing the Komas region that even though you are the capital city, I am still. An athlete and I came here to compete and that was wonderful stuff. Great athleticism from both athletes there. She came to dominate in somebody's kingdom. Indeed. Definitely. Look at that. Karas it is Bukamuna Shirupa. Running toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, head to head against Marlon Larson. At this point of time, we know who is the uh, NSSU under 13, 200 meter champion. And that is from Ochoz on Jupa. Unofficial time of 27.03. She is the future.
you can see the spectators enjoying uh, this one the banners of standard bank making this event possible as well being dominated and of course ntv network television the new home of sports in namibia the likes of frankie fredericks the legend himself is also here in the house great to see the legend there i will probably have to go and ask for an autograph later on of is course. it you or me <laughs> Well, after this, we do expect uh, that is the under-13 boys 200-meter dash. That is section one of three. So meaning that we're going to have three finals there. Pet. And Person, Leroy Person from the Hard Top region will be in the first section. Paulo Mwambelewa of the Comas region as well. Mwalusi Simata of Sambesi region, Tairo Katio of Commerce region, Elton Vedboy of Commerce region, Baunja Kanji of Omaheke region, and Romavik Garweb of the Karas region. These are the eighth athletes that will start with the boys under 13 200 meter finals. Remember, it's three sections. The fastest times takes gold and silver and bronze out of those three sections. If you have just joined us, we are coming to you live. That is from the Independence Stadium. It is formerly known as the Tartanban, a very famous stadium where dreams were made. It is the NSSU Championship. Namibia Media Holdings and TV will be here until 2 o'clock. So please stay glued to your screen as we bring you this event. The boys under 13, will they bring in a faster time compared to the girls? There is white flex. Off they go here. Let's see what this race will produce here as they approach. That is the 100 meter mark here. It is Romava Garweb on the lead there. Romava Garweb on the lead. Romava Garweb. Romava Garweb there. And with ease, he does it. Total domination, even slowing down towards the line or so. That should have been at least a 25 second. But slowing down, there must be a hamstring problem there. Ooh. Sometimes fitness levels tested, giving it your all. And if you look at their guard web. I think I think he will be disqualified. Yep. I think he will be disqualified. Garweb there. That was not a perfect run as they say it. No. He crossed the lines. He went. And you are an that. athlete, I'm sure you know the rules. Yep. Uh normally if you cross the line in the curve, that is uh total disqualification but if it's somewhere right here when you're finishing at least they can go for an appeal if he did not interrupt anyone since he's not running any short distance 
Definitely, you heard it from the man himself there. I would say I love the attendance, although it's not a fully packed stadium. At least people do came to watch, and um, the the voices can be heard on the stands. So at this point of time, what the team manager need to do, they just need to go for an appeal before he's totally disqualified as well. At least for the time to be considered. Right, hit two, boys under 13. Wakudumo from Kavango East goes in line one. Moses, Andreas, Karengeza, and Uruira. Now, here we go. Guards go soft, and you can already see that the man in line five, uh, Kavari, pulling away from everybody. But here comes Karos region, who is the Komos region. This is Karos region. Now, into the lead. This is uh, Augustinus. Oh, Pulling away from everybody now. Coming in very strong. But here come Uruira coming back. Wonderful racing there from this athlete. It was indeed a good one. If we look at the replay there. Let's see. Very fast start from all the athletes Four. that was Andreas indeed in first position followed by going. Kavari in second one. position a very fast pace we have another one coming up again that is section three of three, the boys finals, 200 meter under 13. In this one, we have Kinen Abraham. We have Emmanuel Musanima from the Kavango West. We have Caden Polden from Erongo region. Celestine Ruguru from Kavango East and Adan Harasep from the Hardap region. Spectators enjoying some debates going down there. Former athletes in our midst. A lovely Saturday. It is partly cloudy and sunny at the same time. Perfect weather for sprinting indeed. We have white flags. Lane six there, lane five actually, such a diminutive structure. Will he be able to keep up? He will, most definitely. I would love to see that. He made it, it this far. Celestides Ruguru, he made all it the this way far. from the Kavango East. He is there. He is there. Running with a big voice. And off they go. There goes the Guru, as you can see there. The big boys pulling away. That is Caden Fulton from the Erongo region there. It is K Erongo and Hardap Abraham Kinen. But Fulton pulling away. Ooh. Wonderful stuff. He is a talent. 25.40 unofficial. 
Well, the men in line five managed to keep up indeed. Unfortunately, due to the length of his strides, he got outrun by the others. As Kanan Port <laughs> doing well there, as you can see. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Incredible. Incredible stuff. 25.40 unofficial. Hit three. Coming up, girls under 15, 200 meter dash. Line two, we have the likes of Philomene from Kavango West. Line three, Angula Martha from Oshikoto region. Line four, Munyaza Lizel from Kara's region. Line five, we have Limbu Aunize from Kavango East. Line six, Haukuria from Omaheke region. And line seven, Lobisa from Omsati region. And the teammate Soma in line eight from Omsati region as well. This is hit one, girls under 15. Off the gun goes off and so in the outside lane is already running fast. But here comes Lizzo. Lizzo trying to track down Unise from Okavango East. Now here comes Lizzo. Easy competition. She's pulling away from everybody with ease at all. No competition, no pressure. Into the lead. That is Lizzo from Carlos region. Pulling away. Leading by margin. Twenty six two nine unofficial time. Girls under fifteen. Look at the way she strided away from everybody else. Composed, relaxed. That was Lizzo from Kara's region. Total domination. There are some red flags there. Not ready. That is section two of well. Well, Janet Dihat is also down there on the pitch. Let's hear what she has for us. The USS Alitas came first in the 200 meter. Under what are you? Under 13. Under 13, and how do you feel about coming first? Very proud of myself. Very proud of yourself. How did your practice go beforehand? Excuse how me? was your practice beforehand? It was very hard. Very hard. Very. Did you practice every day? Every day. Okay, but I like your number, 007. Ronaldo. <laughs> but congratulations. Thank you. Ons is hier met Marlene Ney, wat tweede gekom het in die uh, 200 meter onder 13. Hoe voel je? Je was baie na aan die eerste plek. Ik voel ek beter gedoen het. Je voel je kan beter gedoen, ja. maar was het te slecht? Hoe het jou voorbereiding gegaan voor jou? Dit, um, dit was goed. Ek het vir 9 maanden al geoefen. Maar, maar eindelijk het hem as die 200 tak is. 200 tak, so ons gaan jou later sien. En um, dit het klaar gebeur. O, die 200 tak is klaar gebeur. Ja. That is hit two. 
the race is about to start and off they go here yeah, let's see who is going to show us flames here let's see who is going to show us flames here it is yorita delhi yorita delhi pulling away from the rest yorita delhi there is she going to take what this one it is yorita delhi doing it followed by uh, that is wilka nuyoma from the ohangwena region unofficial time 26.67 seconds wonderful run from delhi from the commerce region there doing wonderful brilliant run she dominated that one Indeed. you know remember that it is very important for these athletes to have stronger times faster times just to be on the safe side for a podium finish especially when the finals are in hits yep. and look at the way she strided away from everyone relaxed while the others are tensing up she is pulling away the girl in second position there rocking her head back and forth Delhi showed that she is a class apart right hit three we have the lights of alexandra in line three from commerce region martha from kavango is in line four line five abigail from Hardab region line six nelao from Kunene region and line seven, Situmbaito from Zambezi region, Simasiku. Next up on the track, girls under 15, heat three, in final heat of this age group. And the girls under 15, heat three. Girls 200 meter under 15, hit three. The white flags are up. Alexandra, Martha, Abigail, Nelao, Namasiku. Girls under 15, hit three. Now, Namasiku going wide on the outside lane, but here comes Alexandra from Commerce Region trying to overtake already Martha right up in line four. But let's not forget Nelao up in line six from Kunene Region holding on, but Alexandra up into the lead from Commerce Region. It's Alexandra pulling away from everybody, putting up a big gap. But Nelao in second place. Alexandra finishing first year. Is it going to be a goal for her? Woo! That's a fast time from Alexandra indeed. I think we witnessed two athletes running in the same lane there. For a distance and the red flag is on. Game. But look at Alexandra there. And if you see there, that was this lane. Two athletes running in the same lane. Oh. Right up in the finish. Wow. That was fast, but some of it was illegal. To sum up, at this point of time, the gold will go to Lizelle from Kara's region since she clocked a faster time compared to the rest of the hits. Definitely. And you can see the crowd there. And now what we have is the boys under 15, 200 meter dash. We have, that is Cristiano.
Stefan Veik from the Kavango East region, Washiri Njavera from the Omaheke region, Puturi Kamuhanga from the Omaheke region, Caleb Bessinga from the Hardtub region, Michael Nanjemba, Omusadi region, Likando Lungwe, Sambesi, Patrice, Patrice, Patricia Seibeb, that is from the Erongo region, while Coughlin Henry from the Comas region. The athletes are preparing, raring to go. Still some red flags. The crowd are aesthetic there. One word to say it, electric. Giving the fans something to cheer about. And we await here. That is the boys under 13 about to go and off they go. Who is it going to be here? A wonderful stride. Uh, that is from Caleb Besinka there. Caleb Besinka there as well as uh, that is Coughlin Henry. But it is Besinka. Besinka running away from them. Besinka running away from them. Is he going to get it? Yes, it is going to be Besinka. Wonderful. 23 93 from Caleb Bessinger of the Hard Top region. There, the Hard Top region producing stars, as you could see it by the action replay. There, Bessinger already showing that he was going to dominate this. Just look at how he came across uh, that is the 100, and from there, he was running with ease there under no pressure or whatsoever. There, relaxed and all. And he finishes it. That was the first time indeed. 23. Wonderful. Uh, you can see in the crowd is Kaupasane Watwire, all the way from Oshinene Sports Club. Um, he is here, I'm sure some athletes representing Omaheke uh, region. Some faces do, do not look that impressed. I mean, it's competition. It is someone competition must lose, indeed. someone must win. Or perhaps he's worried about his next event. Right. Hit two boys under 15, 200 meter dash. Matthias from Karos region. Muerto from Hardup region. Simende from Kavango West. Fama from Comas. Kamalam from Omsati. 
Natanile from Comos region, Jerko from Ochozonjupa, Dilano from Karos region. This is the first hit. And this race belongs to anyone. Ludwin Mihesco Simende Farmer Kamalum Natanael Jaco Dilano Hit two Gas goes off and you can already see Dilano in the outside lane going wild now other than that you can see the man from Comos region right there in the middle of the field that is Farmer coming in very strong putting away from everybody Farmer holding on very strong pulling away easy technique on point you can see that he's not even being pressurized right now in first place Farmer from Comos region first time indeed faster than the first hit unofficial time 23 22. Look at the way he attacked the curve. All out. Not holding back. Strides on point. Form on point. Not wasting any type of energy. With the unofficial time of 22. Or should I say 23. We continue, that is with hit three. What will hit three produce here? That is the boys under 15. 200 meter dash, hit three. And in hit three here we have Martin Gilelengwa from Oshikoto region. Jadren Johnson from the Comas region. Frank Gulwa from the Omaheke region. Guanito Noble from the Erongo region. Bamunu Rukero, that is from Oshodonjupa region. Venyengowa Kanji from Omaheke region. Victory Imene from Oshana region. The flex are white and we are about to go. They are set and ready to go. Red flag there. Hmm. There seems to be still a delay there. Something that needs to be sorted out. The flag is now white. And off they go. Let's wait and see here. It is hit three here. 
These are just three athletes taking it here. It is M Martin Giliva of Oshikoto region taking this one. Martin faster than the previous hit indeed. Can you believe it? No pressure. Uh, they were three, no pressure, 23.20. Not even a single person to push him. And in the end, he ran a faster fast. time than all the under 15. Very fast. Uh, is it because there were only three? Not at all. At this point of time, he was supposed to be disadvantaged since he has no one to push him to or to push pressure him. But he him. did it on his own, and that was fast. Indeed. Discussions taking down there. Yep. I think everyone is excited. Up next, girls 200 meter under 17. Line one, Kudumo, Trezia from Kavango West. Line two, Erastus from Angwena region. Line three, Njaba from Kavango West. Line four, Philip, Jasmine from Irongo region. Line five, Michaela from Karas region. Line six, Kayla from Commerce region. Line seven, Eamon from Karas region. And line eight, Kamuzeri from Omaheke region. Omaheke region with a fast pace, but it's a girl from Karas region. That is Ayman. She's the one in first position at this point of the race. Now she's going very fast. Ayman up in the lead, being overtaken by the girl from Komos region. Kayla, Kayla versus Michaela from Karas region. This is the two battling for first position. But now Kayla pulling away strong, holding on to first position. In a time of 26 to 4, unofficial time. That it was is not easy, and look at that. Look at that. Wonderful uh, running there. Uh, that is from Kyla Lansbear. 26.24 official time, unofficial time there. Kayla Lansbury. <laughs> the crowd really enjoying uh, this one. Uh, amazing stuff here. If you have just joined us, we are coming to you live. Uh, that is from the Independent Stadium. It is the National School Sports Union Athletics Championship here. And you can see the regions are competing in this one. It has been a fantastic day of beautiful, beautiful scenes. And we are still to witness more here. We do have section two of two finals. That is the girls under 17, 200 uh, meter dash. In this one, we have Saima Emmanuel from Ohangwena, Dolphin Kapere from Kavango East, Monica Haingura Erongo, Daphne Mukwambi, Oshodon Jupa region, Anna Kalenga Kavango East, and Ukarapo Mbakurupa Omaheke region. Girls under 17, hit two. 
and the flags are white. Ready and ready to go. And off they go. What wonderful stuff there. Let's see who is going to take this one. Terrific uh, running. Uh, that is from. And Ooh. it is. That is Dauphin Capere from the Kavango East region. 26.44 is the unofficial time dolphin capere making sure that she takes that one not easy but look at that uh, dolphin pushing it to the finish line 26.44 There is still more action to come. We are not done yet. Up next, boys under 17, 200 meters. Line 2, Magano Nesep from Karos region. Line three, Simon from Kavango East. Line four, Tongeni from Omaheke region. Line five, Katupo from Kunene region. Line six, Diego from Kunene region. Line seven, Joshua from Oshana region. And line eight, Konjere Nelton from Oshikoto region. Boys under 17. Hit one. Magano, Simon, Tongeni, Katupo, Diego, Joshua, Nelton. Speculate how the race may be run. Anyhow, this belongs to anyone. But the man in line two has been dominating this competition throughout from yesterday. And that is... Magano. Will there be someone to stop him today? Yep. Now Magano there step towards with a first step towards immortality. Already overtaking Simon in line one. Tongeni now also overtaken. Now out wide. Being overtaken as well. Magano Nesep, no pressure. Running away from everybody. Relax from high knees. Pulling away from everybody. Watch the time. Here he comes. 10 meters to go. Whoa. 22 1 4. Almost a 21. That is Magano Nesep. Look at the way he attacked the cave. Attacking Simon. Pulling away from everyone. No competition at all. Ease. Relax form. Even though it does look disappointed with the time. At least that was the first time indeed. He too. Lining up. We have the likes of Van Wake, Baron from Irongo region. Van Wake, William from Hardup region. Kisting. Morne from Kara's region, Belkis from Komo's region, Makumbi from Zambezi region, and Garisep from Ochoz on Jupa. Hit two, boys under 17. This belongs to anyone.
when it comes to 200 meter you have to be relentless It is section two of three. Boys under 17, meet two. Boys under 17. And in this one, we have Baron Van Veik, William Van Veik, not from the same region, Erongo and Hartup, Monet Kisting, Alexander Biekas, Mohane Mukumbi, Zambesi region, and Engelbrecht, Engelhart, Garisep from Oshodan Jupa and off they go. Let's wait and see here how it is going to unfold. Lane one and two, we have the fun fakes there. It is however Mukumbi pushing on here. It is Mukumbi taking the win. It seems um, he came in the same time as Magano Nesse. That is, uh, it is actually Engelbrecht Garisep. Engelbrecht Garisep with the win. Pardon me there. It is Engelbrecht Garisep who took that one. And look at him there, running very well, making sure it is 22.19 that he secured there. And if nobody beats that time, that means there will be two gold medals to be handed out to first place. Right, hit three. It's under 17. Line three from the Bezi region with Musomi Ponizo. Line four from Komos region, Pendukeni Philippus. Line five, Bazu Vara from Omahekia region. Line six, Chuan Hardab region. And line seven, Hange from Omahekia region. Boys under 17, 200 meter. Dish. Bonizo, Pendukeni, Bazuvara, Juan, Hange. Hit three. White flags are up. Getting ready to start. From Musomi to Philippus to Bazuvara to Juan to Angane. Here we go. Now, up in the lead. That is still Hanga. Hange. Still holding on. But from Omaheke region, Bazuvara versus Juan from Bardab region. Who's going to come in with the first position? Bazuvara from Omaheke region. Still holding on to the first place. And Juan from Hardab region coming in second position there. Unofficial time of 23.68. That was a good run indeed. A very good run from Baduvara there. Well done there to Baduvara, pushing it all the way to the end.
a gold medal that is from Omaheke region, all the way from Oshinene. Wonderful stuff. It was indeed a good race. You can see the locals very happy with the sun of the swell there. It is the girls' 200 a meter dash. Girls under 19, hit one. Girls under 19, hit one there. Who is it going to be in this one? And off they go. Good start there. Good start there. That is from Desiree Mulman. Desiree Mulman storming to victory here. Who can stop her? Desiree Mulman. Desiree Mulman making sure she takes that one. 25.97 unofficial time. That's fast. She towered. Look at the way she and was attacked. Powered the through to the finish line. Strong, powerful. Strong finish running. Line. And you can see she's built for speed. Yep. Hit two, girls under 19, with the likes of uh, Richelin from Kunene region, Indilene from Wangwene region, Kennedy from Karas region, Lena, Oshikoto region, and Williams from Karas, as well as Hoveka from Omaheke region. It is almost that time. We are almost approaching uh, the end of the 200 meters. But there is still some top events we have to look out for. That is section two of two of the women's, of the girls 200 meter final, as well as the boys. It is going to be interesting. Gun goes off and Hoveka from Omaheke region going wild on the outside lane. But here comes Kennedy from Karas region, up still in third position, overtaking uh, Lena, or in other words, Williams. But it's Hoveka versus Kennedy from Karas region. Hoveka from Omaheke region pulling away, striding, strong indeed, fast pace indeed there. Eh? Unofficial time, 26.33. In other words, 
At this point of time, she does have the gold. Look at the way she's striding. Even though Kennedy was trying to keep up, unfortunately, stamina ran out of that. She ran out of stamina. No, Horeka just showed that she's really good. On Maheke region, you can see from the crowd there, they are here well represented. The chairperson for We are now getting ready. That is for the boys. It is the under 19 200 meter dash. And in the first hit, we have that is Valentinus Mutero from Kavango East. Clement Mutilifa, that is from Erongo. Query Hange from Omaheke region. Eliphas Kevali from Ohangwena. 13 Blau, Karas region, Brian Horadipe, that is from Kunene, Ezekiel Unanisa from Komas region, Fritz Haragaip from Omaheke region. This is a point where we get a 21. And off they go here. Are we going to witness something special here? Wonderful uh, running, but very fast running from... Wonderful uh, running there. Uh, that is from Clemens Mutilifa from the Erongo region. Wonderful stuff. Clement Smutilifa taking that one. He was really fast. He went off the blocks very well, took the turn very well, in a good lane as well. And look at that. Just pacing away. Even though that Virgin Blow tried to chase him. 22.37, unofficial time. Right. Hit two, 200 meters, boys under 19. We have the likes of Daniel from Kavango West, Prince, Hard Up. Line three, Christian from Kavango East. Line four, Edmund from Kavango East. Line five, Lucas Dimbulukweni from Oshana region. Line six, Innocent Omaheke. Line seven, Ananis from Ochozonjupa, and line eight, Dalipo, from Kavango West. We are following up this for metal presentation. Boys under 13, 1,500 meters. Nyambe Mushindai, Zambezi region. Last hit for the day, 200 meters. Boys under 19. Daniel, Prince, Christian, Edmund, Kimblukweni, Innocent, Nanis, Dalipo, 
gentlemen, 200 meters. White flags are up. Boys under nineteen final hit. Prince Stuart with the first step toward immortality. Already attacking Christian in line three. But Prince is really hard, running hard at this point of time. From harder region, that is Prince. But on the outside, from Ochozon Jupa, that is Nanis trying to cross the gap onto now Prince. But Prince still holding the gap. Holding on so tight, but Nanis coming in strong. Prince taking the first place. Nanis taking second position. Unofficial time of 22. Point three eight. Look at the way Prince decided to attack the athlete in line three. That is Kudumo pulling away. But now Nanis from Ochoz on Jupa trying to close the gap. But it was already too late at this point of time. Prince taking the gold. I must say, I. <laughs> I have been impressed, uh, that is, by these athletes today, especially the team from Karas region. A lot of talented athletes. Well, before we conclude, let's look at the victories and the interviews. Congratulations on winning. Thank you. What's your name? Um, Clemency Mutilifa. <laughs> and how do you feel about winning? Uh, I feel fine. You feel Just fine? Just the weather. Just the weather. Yeah. It's a bit too hot, eh? Yeah, I'm not used to it. I'm from the coast. Yeah, and can you just tell us how the race went for you? Was it difficult? Uh, not really. I just felt a little bit heavy. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You just won, how are you feeling? Huh? I feel good. You're feeling good? Yes. And how was the race? Ah, uh, it was fine. Was it fine? Yes. What's your name? Oh, yeah, Okay, and how did you practice go before and did you know that you're going to win today? I just warm up hard. Okay. Yes. And what's your personal best? 23. And did you beat it now? I don't check it the time. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? 
I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. How did the race go? It was quite challenging, but it's fine. You what was your expectations before coming here? Yeah. I was nervous. You were nervous, and how are you feeling now? Are you proud of your win? Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you happy? I'm really happy. What is your name? This is Raymond. This is Raymond. What is your name? I'm Samaras. I come from the gymnasium. Okay. I went to the gymnasium. But I'm very happy. Thank you. I'm going to see how you're going for your time. I'm going to see how you're going for your time. I'm going to see how you're going for your time. Okay, bye, thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're here with Magano. He just won the under 17 200. Mika, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great for this race. It's not what I expected, but it's good enough. Okay. I did my best that I could do. And what did you expect? Uh, somewhere in the 21 seconds. Okay. Yeah. And, how, uh, and what did you get now? What was your time? Uh, 22, 1, 4 or something. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. But how did the training went before and before the MCG today? It was tough. For the past two weeks, training in the deserts mostly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, but you're one of the stars at Arayamun. Can you just tell us um, how that's going, how the sponsorships are going? Uh, we don't have that much sponsorships there. But like... When there's track competitions, mm -hmm. we just go like with our parents to the competitions. All right. Mm. Cool. Thank you so much, Mugano. You're welcome. On this year, my dark has been able to come to the 200 meter for honor. 15, who feel you? Moog. You see, you feel moog. Yeah. But how did you go to the hard loop? I was like, I'm going to go to the big star career. Okay. But you have a really good space between your competitors. Yeah. How is this, Leggy? But it's like this. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Need to pour bread and pour it. Pour it. Take it. Man. Pass you off. I'm not gonna. Come cash and go out by the rapi. So I can't wait two weeks. I can't go for it. This is gonna be sexy. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna come cash. So I'm not even sick of it. For. Yeah. And as you're gonna say, it's what you do. Yeah. No, I'm doing honor things. Please go. Okay. So it's not honor, but work life. No, it's honor. It's not hard life. It's just for fun. Yeah. I'm just doing it. Okay, that's right. And where are you going? That's the first one. That's the first one. Thank you. 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 Andy, how do you feel? Yeah. English, Afrikaans, Magisaki. So, yeah, how's it going for me? 300 meter, X, what was it? Yeah, it's really hard. Aha. This is my last race for the year, and I must have everything. Aha. And it's close to me, so I'll be in the stadium to my support. And you're scared. Yeah. Okay. Ik zie bij die begin was het een beetje tijd, een beetje zwaar. Ik zie een paar oude en een beetje foto gemaakt met die kies. Ja. Voel je dat het in je advent is gespeeld dat je een foto gemaakt hebt? Of regardless was je maar op je game? Ik moet zeggen, het is een beetje een effect gehad op mij. Maar ik heb het aangepast vandaag. Heerlijk gedrukt. En voorbereid? Voor die, voor die atletiek, hoe moet je voorbereid? Hoe moet je een schedule gelijk? Om alles te doen, oh, ja. om ons praat nog van... Om ons praat van school, om ons praat van training, dan praat ons nog van... Hoe moet je al die goed gebaland? Nee, want ik heb normaal school gegaan. Aha. En dan heb ik van vier tot half zes atletiek gegaan. Vier tot half zes, aha. En nog steeds schooltijd heb ik gekregen voor twee of drie uur. En dan heb ik nog andere sporten gehad, zoals cricket. Zoals cricket. Ja. En dan heb je weer zorg op tijd gaan doen. Met al die werk. Oké, zeg ons even, techniek was niet. Hoe belangrijk is het om de terecht te krijgen om die huidels te springen? Voor die lange hekjes maak je te veel zaken niet, zolang okay. je niet weet wanneer om je hekje aan te vatten. Okay. En die moet niet zo nou slecht worden gaan dat je nou valt niet. Ja. Met korte hekjes moet je techniek is het, is het meer like techniek als wat je net spoed is? Ja, met lange hekjes moet je fucks wees. Fucks wees. Maar dat maak je zaak wat je over die hekjes doet niet. Aha. Dat is wat je tussen die twee hekjes doet. Tussen die twee hekjes doet. So die, die, die intussen is het belangrijkste? In plaats van wat dat je op die rekening komt. Ja. Mm, Oké, okay, nee, maar congrats. Maar dank je. Tot zoveel. Dank je. Hi. How are you feeling? I feel great. You feel great? 
great. Yeah. Congratulations on your win. Thank I you, see you. you just came there from the uh, out of the corner. Yes. 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 And did you plan that? Did you pace yes. yourself? Uh, yeah, I planned it because it's a lesson you have to play yeah. to win. Yeah, yes. 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 What's your name? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Engelard, what is it? Engelard. Engelard. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Good one thing. Good one thing. Okay, cool. We're here with Engelard. They just came second. Well, we came first in the second heat of the 200 meters. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. Like I feel great. And we try hard and we push. Hard work and dedication pays off. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time at the Nationals. Your first so, time yeah. at the Nationals? Yeah. Well done on that. And what was your expectations when you came here? Did you think that your compass I never thought about it. <laughs> okay, and how did your preparations go beforehand? Yo, it was like really hard work and mm -hmm. dedication. I just want to say thank you to my coach that kept pushing me. So, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. So here was Julia, she just won the under 13, 200 meter. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel about winning? Nice. You feel nice about winning? Okay. And how did the race go? Was it okay? Yes. Alright. Thank you. Voorbruin. Ja. Okay, maar wat is jouw voorvoet? Wat is er gebruikt in meestal? Ik gebruik mijn rechterin. Rechterin om wat te maken? Om de uh, eerste oor te gaan, maar ik kan niet met mijn andere voet omgaan. Oké. Okay. Zo so, moet okay, staan goed daar. Mm -hmm. Nee, dan moet je me nog wezen als je nog moet oor gaan. Ah. Wat, hoe, hoe is jouw techniek gewoonlijk? Wat is voet gebrek je? Mijn, mijn, ik gebrek mijn rechtervoet. Jouw rechtervoet, oké. Okay. Dan als je op die hekje komt, dan maak je hoe? Dan spring ik. Met die rechtervoet? Met die rechtervoet. Oké. Okay. Dan schiet ik mee uit, Aha. dan ga ik oor. Oh, dan ga je oor. Ja. So, kijk, voor example, als je dit nog verkeerd krijgt. Nee? Hoe cruciaal is het om zeker te maken, zeker niet verkeerd niet? Want ik heb het nog gezien met die vorige meisjes. Ze hebben een foto gemaakt, toen was het ingekregen. Sintje, so voor jou, hoe belangrijk is dit om zeker te maken dat je techniek, je techniek is recht? Het is dus baie belangrijk van hekjes, die nodig te um, techniek om dit, om dit, dit recht te doen. Om dit recht te doen. Ja. Oké, okay, maar met die 200 wat je nog even hebt, hoe voel je hoor je Baie, baie. Ik heb gedaag, ik zal niet eerst te komen. Ja, aangezien, je moest nog niet zo ja, goed zijn. Ja, die techniek heet die, ja. ja. Maar, maar die is blij niet? Ik is baie blij. Oké, okay, wat heb je nog over vandaag? Ik, ik had nog 200 meter. 200 hoor? Ja. Zal ik zal ik omgesteld naar die 200? Ja, ja. ja. Oké. Okay. Maar dankie. Na. Oké. Okay. Abidi. Yes. Abba. Quickly run me through it. 1500. Winning it again. I think you won it last year also. So, another good year for you. How was it today? Smooth. So good. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> the way I was treated. I was prepared. Yeah. Uh, how am I going to run this? Mm -hmm. going to... Yeah. And how was the preparation for you? How did you get ready? How did you make sure that you come back to the look again this year and come win again? My pre preparation was, was so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I can see you're very tired. Just catch your breath and then breathe. I mean, it's 1,500. Not everyone can do it. Trust me, I can't do it. So yeah, run me through it. Preparation-wise, how did you get ready? How did you make sure you were fit enough to come here and come finish strong? Too? So was so good. Uh -huh. and, and I, I, I was making for my coach. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can't even run. Okay, so he's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is with Drian Smith. Drian Smith? Yeah. How do you feel about your performance today with the Tuskers? I feel good with my performance, but uh -huh. I have to make it better, but I'm happy with what I've done. Okay, uh, it's important to see your pass here for you. Yeah. Or is it your coach? Yeah, my coach, my pass. Like okay, your coach, yeah. Okay, now say over me, how important was it for your coach to be here today for you, that he's so good today? Very, I think very important. That's very important. Yeah, it is. Okay, and for the rings, how did you prepare for today? How did you prepare for today? How did you prepare for today? Yes, ma. How do you feel? We're speaking with Junior. How are you feeling? Good. How did the race go? It's always normal. Was it normal? Was it tough? From which region are that side? Because, as always, this guy that is fun. How do you feel about that? You good? 
Junior. We're speaking with Junior. How are you feeling? Good. How did the race go? It's always normal. Hmm? Was it normal? Was it tough? From which region are you? Kabango East. Kabango East. And how did, did you guys practice that side? Before then it was you. It's always. Uh, probably the end of our broadcast it has been a wonderful day full of action but as you can see in your picture there that is the Hagegen Gop Rugby Stadium where a match between Trasco United against Riobov is taking place that is the Namibia Rugby Union Premier League but if you just cross over from where we are that is the Independent Stadium uh, the Tartan Barn as they used to call it back in the day action unfolded here today it was the Namibia School Sports Union Athletics Championship very well attended by the regions very well attended by the teams and by the athletes it was indeed a wonderful day here where records stumbled a few people stumbled as well some unable to finish but others made their names in history today it has been a wonderful day and from me jesse jackson kauraitha and the entire ntv crew it has been a wonderful day hosting you goodbye got the crowd going the crowd is clapping him on He's the strongest high jumper thus far 1.85 for the national record Benjamin. Yes. Got the crowd going. The crowd is clapping him on. 